Hola, and today in Dr. Duck's Quick Spanish, we're going to be talking about the present tense. This is going to be a longer video because I'm going to cover the entire present tense and all of the exceptions I can think of. So first in Spanish, we know that there are three types of verbs. Verbs that end in AR, AR, ER, and IR. Most verbs are regular. For example, let's take hablar to talk. Yo hablo. Tú hablas. Nosotros, hab ellos, ellas, ustedes habla, nosotros hablamos, ellos, ellas, ustedes hablan. Comer, yo como, tú comes, él, y usted come, nosotros comemos, vosotros comen. Escribir, yo escribo, escribes, escribe, escribimos. Escribe. So the er and the ir are almost the same except for this right here, so pay attention to that. So what do we do with this? Let's say we have the verb comer. So what we have here is the stem and then we have the ending. The er tells us it's a verb. We're going to take off the er and we're going to add whatever the ending is according to the subject. So if the subject is yo, it'll be yo como. I eat. Cool. So we're done that. Um, then there are some verbs that are highly irregular in the Spanish language. One of them is ser, and you just have to memorize these. So it's yo soy, tú eres, él es, nosotros somos, ellos son. Estar is highly irregular that you have to memorize. Estoy, estás. Está, estamos, están. Perfect. Ir is our third highly irregular verb. Voy, vas, va, vamos, van. And haber is also highly irregular, but you're probably not going to use that one too much at your level. Um, Good, so we got that. So apart from this, and I'm just going to erase all this up. I'm just going to erase this up here. We have the dreaded stem changing verbs. Stem changing verbs means that, let's go with the verb that changes stem, almorzar. The stem is this part here. Stem changing means that the vowel in the stem changes when you conjugate it. Uh, but it only changes in the boot form. It changes in the yo. Tú, él, ellos, but it does not change in the nosotros form, or the vosotros form if you if you or the vosotros form if you use that. So the stem changes in all of these, but not there. So some of the stem changing forms, all of the stem changing forms, there are some that go e to i e, and there we would have preferir. As an example. So, yo prefiero. Yo prefiero. Because the yo falls within the boot. So, but it would be nosotros preferemos. Preferemos because that falls outside of the boot. Then there's o to ue, which would be an example of volver. Tú vuelves. Tú vuelves. Tú falls in the boot, so it's got to change. And the endings are just the same endings that we see over here, right? It's the exact same ending. Tú, we change the stem, and then we go back to the regular ending, vuelves. The other stem-changing verb is E to I, and this is less common, but it exists. Uh, for example, pedir, to ask for. And we'll go with él pide. Él falls within the boot. And we're going to use the regular ending for pedir, which is E, so él pide, pero nosotros pedimos. Nosotros pedimos. Awesome. So we're done there. So those are the stem changing verbs. Lots of stem changing verbs. Normally in your book, what you'll see is uh, you'll see a verb like volver um, in the um, in your textbook, in the vocab. And afterwards, you'll see a bracket, and it looks something like this. And once you see that, you'll know that it's stem changing and that you have to follow this rule here. Okay, so let's continue on.
change that color. Um, then we have some other verbs that are called yo go verbs, which means they follow the pattern. They followed the pattern except in the yo form. Some of these include hacer, which is yo hago. Yo hago, but tu haces, hace, hacemos, hacen. See? Um, venir. which is vengo. Yo vengo. Oh, it's also stem changing, right? So we have to make sure it fits in the boot. Tu, and then go back over here a few different steps. Tu vienes. Right? And you'll see a whole bunch more of those in your book. Um, there are some other verbs that are just exception in the yo that you have to memorize. Saber, for example, is yo sé. Otherwise, it follows the pattern of that. Conocer is conozco. And this normally happens with verbs that end in C, I, R, or C, E, R, right? The yo form will change to that, but otherwise it follows the pattern um, set above there. Another one, another exception that is important to note that you guys probably won't come across that much, but it's, it is important to note, verbs that end in gir or hir, her, or, well, that's it. Um, in the yo form, instead of geo, the g changes to a j. So, for example, with the verb escoger, if I were to change that er to the, follow the normal pattern and have an o, it would be s, it would be like that, but how is that pronounced? Escogo, escogo. Right? And that changes the pronunciation of the original G. So Spanish is very consistent with pronunciation. That's why in the yo form only, that G will change to a J. So it would be escojo. And I believe for the present tense, that's your basic overview. Not everything is here, but this should be enough to get you through. Nos vemos.